Hey, how's your day? When I'm doing a photo restoration or any work on a photo, I always start with the same program, which is Topaz Labs Photo AI. As of this recording, the version is 2.2.2. This program is simply the best for cleaning up a picture and getting it ready for more edits. What I'll do is I'll go through all the settings and everything. Let's check it out. As you can see here, we got this picture that we're going to try to restore, and we're going to go into Topaz Labs Photo AI to do it. First thing we got to do is we got to make a copy of it and make it a smart object. Then let's go to filter Topaz Labs, Topaz Photo AI. Now what it'll do is it'll do an automatic sharpen for you to see what's going on. Now, what I'd like to do, as you can see, there is a color cast on the robe and the rest of the picture. So let's do the first option here, balance color. I've got it set to 50% in my automatic. And bam, right away, it changes the robe to a black color like it should be. That's great. Zoom to fit. Every time we move around, it'll have to redraw it, but that's no biggie. So right away, before, after we get a good start going on here now i'll show you the adjust lighting so let's throw that on there it's set to 25 it improves the lighting and whether something's under or overexposed i don't think that this picture needed it but it's great and handy to have that so let's turn that off we don't have any text to preserve so i'll do a tutorial on that later now let's go to recover faces as you can see there's only one face so you hover your mouse over faces, and it knows which one it is. The strength is set to 80. Now, what we'll do, but let's zoom in. It'll redraw on everything. And here's the preview. Red hair is good. It's crisp. The flyaways are even crisp in there. We can deal with them later in a full restoration. But look at this. Before, after. It cleaned it up. The edges of the glasses, the teeth, nose, everything. Now, before, after, before, after. Now, if there's something you don't like, once we're out of Photo AI, because it's a smart object, we can draw on the mask to clean up anything you don't like. All right, let's zoom to fit. Now, sharpening subject is already done. I don't think it needs to be done anymore. Everything is as more as sharp as I like it, but you are given more options and you can edit your subject or have subject only. You can turn it off and draw whatever you wish. And your options are standard, strong, lens blur, and motion blur. If you can tell that the picture was taken and somebody moved or there's some sort of motion going on, you can compensate for that. And you're given strength and minor denoise. Great stuff. Now, this is the other thing I wanted to do, is I wanted to remove the noise. Now, I'll show you what I mean. Zoom in, and it'll redraw again. Now, as you can see, the robe is nice and black. There's a lot of dust and scratches, which I'll take care of in Photoshop, but there's a lot of color noise that we need to get rid of. So, let's hit Remove Noise. I always like to put it on Strong, so it's right in the middle. It'll do its thing. Now, check it out. Right here, the robe's cloth looks great, nice and smooth. Before, after. Before, after. This is looking really good for what I want it to do before I do more restoration on it. Zoom to fit, and you can tell again. Before, after. Before, after. This is a great start before you're doing any more editing in Photoshop itself. Now, we don't need to show you Enhance today, but I'd like to show you Subject. If you hover your mouse over Subject, you can see what it's chosen. Now, what a person can do is you can hit Add and have a brush. Now, I'm just going to do the regular brush. I really like that. Bring it up again because I missed a bit of the robe and stuff on this side. So color it in and hit apply. Now, as you can see, the subject has changed and all the other things have fixed it. 
Now, if you want, you can try the remove beta. I usually use the remove tool or generative fill in Photoshop, but this is coming along, so I'll quickly show it to you. So let's hit remove. Now let's zoom in. And we'll just pick on this scratch here, you can see. So let's lower. We lower, lowered our brush and just run it along the scratch. Now let's see what it does. Hit remove. It'll take its time and do its thing. And let's see what it's done. It's done a great job of removing that scratch. Pretty close to what uh, the remove tool in Photoshop would do, but I still like the remove tool better. This is really coming along though, I dig it. So let's uh, reset and close. Now, one last option I'd like to show you is you can customize what happens when Photo AI comes up first, the automatic stuff. So let's go Edit and Preferences, and let's go down to Autopilot. For the most part, I leave everything as it is, unless if there's something specific that I want to do on multiple pictures. So automatically apply the filters, yes. Subject detection, always, because I'm pretty much doing portraits for people. Once in a while, I'll do a landscape, but you can change that later. Upscale and resize, we don't need to worry about at the moment. Remove noise, non-raw and raw, I leave at the defaults. Sharpen, I have set to normal. High quality images, I like to leave it as it is. You're given the options of correct the prevailing issues. Prefer remove noise or prefer sharpen. I like to leave it at correct the prevailing issues because it'll check everything out and give you a good idea of what it's going to do. Now, face recovery, I leave exactly where it is at 80%. Now, you're given an option of hair and neck or separately, hair or neck. I leave it on hair and neck. It saves a lot of time. Now, adjust the lighting. I leave at 25 and like I said before, the balance cover, I put to 50. So you're given the option of going less or more. It's normally set at 100. So the only thing you're doing is reducing. This way, like I said, you can have more or less. So there are the autopilot options. I like what it's done so far. Save to Photoshop. And there we have it so far. Before, after. And that's a great start to restoring this picture. This is cool stuff. Topaz Labs 4OAI is such a great tool. How can you not be using it? If you want to check it out, please see my affiliate link in the description down below. It gives me a hand and doesn't cost you a thing. As you can see, there are a lot of great options to get a photo started and ready to go for more editing. If you want to see the full restoration, check out the video up here or check in the link in the description. I'm Don from 40911. See ya.